Welcome to Brest Naval Base, located on France's western coast, on the Atlantic. This is the Marine National's second largest base after Toulon and the home port of Frem Normandy. The frigate recently took part in a long-range surface to air missile firing. To learn more about this new capability for Normandy, I'm now with the commanding officer of the vessel, Commander Pericchio. Commander, good morning. Good morning, Xavier. Can you please tell us uh, about uh, your ship, its uh, capabilities and uh, its overall uh, specifications? Ooh, what a topic. Okay, so welcome aboard uh, Frégate Multimission Normandy, which is the, the, the sixth uh, FREM, uh, the so-called FREM, which means this is basically an uh, anti-submarine warfare uh, destroyer but it's called multi-mission because it is obviously capable of, uh, of um, serving in, uh, in various uh, domains anti-submarine warfare but also anti-air warfare, uh, anti-surface warfare uh, the, the Normandy is fitted with the MDCN which uh, gives her uh, a capability to strike against the, the land which is a, 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 a very new capability and a very uh, priceful capability for the, the, French, uh, the French fleet. Uh, and we, we are, the, the, the ship is manned with a crew of an average of uh, 123 crew, uh, crew members, in, including the, the air crew. Uh, we are based in Brest, and that's about it. All right. Now regarding uh, the recent uh, long-range fast-to-air missile firing, can you tell us more when did it take place and uh, why is it significant? Uh, so uh, we, we were lucky enough to, to conduct uh, a firing of uh, Aster 30, as Aster 30 missile at the end of January uh, and this was uh, a very important step for the training of the crew because as you know we are fitted with uh, quite um, cutting edge missiles such as the Aster, Aster 15 and uh, 30, MDCN, MM40, the, the torpedo uh, MU90 and it is absolutely vital for us to, to train uh, as close as possible uh, from a reality, real conditions. So we were uh, lucky to conduct that uh, firing um, in, the Gulf, in the Gulf of Gascogne uh, at the end of January. And the, basically the theme was uh, to engage adversary uh, missile uh, threatening our units. And we, uh, we engaged it and we destroyed the, the target, which was a very uh, absolutely uh, essential moment for the crew because we train every every single day to uh, to use all the capabilities, but it is one thing to train; it is another thing to to, to fight in a real in real conditions. What type of uh, target was it specifically? It was basically a, a drone, which was um, which uh, main characteristic were uh, as close as possible uh, uh, f uh, from a, a likely threat that we we are uh, uh, likely to to face in the real world. Now, what new capabilities does the Aster 30 brings to your ship compared to Aster 15? Oh, it's mainly a question of range, because as you know, the Aster 30 is basically the, uh, the same missile as the Aster 15, but the range is uh, significantly extended. And uh, there is uh, associated with the Aster 13 um, a beginning of uh, area defense capability, which is called local area defense. Uh, so it's one step between the, the, the Aster, th Aster 15, which, fitted, which fits the, the first uh, frames, and the, um, the, the next generation, which are the um, frame DA, which are dedicated to anti-air warfare. So we are somewhere in between the frame and the frame DA. Which uh, frames, which Akiten class frames, are now fitted with uh, the Aster 30 capability? The Normandy was the first one to be uh, fitted with Aster 13 from the beginning. But the Frem Bretagne, uh, which, which is, she is uh, uh, just uh, two years older than the Normandy, is also fitted uh, since has been fitted since uh, last summer. So those two frigates are based in uh, Brest. Yes. Is that a specific uh, requirement for the Atlantic area? No, there is no, uh, as far as I know, there is no uh, specialization uh, with, uh, linked with the, um, the, fit that the, fa the fact that uh, Normandy and, Bre and Bretagne are in uh, Brest. Um, 
as you may know, our main focus in Brest is, the, is mainly the anti-submarine warfare, but it's a question of, of time and of generation. But uh, we are uh, likely to be engaged, uh, as Bretagne was last year, in uh, the Mediterranean or other theatres. So there is no specialization between Brest and Toulon. And uh, last but not least, um was this firing uh, in any way related to the Plan Mercator of the former uh, chief of staff of the French Navy, which called for more training for like to for the French Navy to be more operational and uh, more ready for uh, high intensity uh, combat? Absolutely. I mean, it, there is a, a direct link between the spirit of Plan Mercator and the the the, the, the firing that we, we conducted uh, in January, because as I uh, as I mentioned it uh, previously, it is vital for our crew. To, to train in real conditions and it is when you push the button you want to hear the missile you want to be and you, you want to make sure that it will hit the target and so it's I, according to me that's the, that's the the, the core of uh, plan mercator thank you very much commander you're welcome